And this is the setup we're looking at. And this is kind of the tweet you saw me focusing on this week. It's if you go back to the old YouTube video tutorial where I do the Wyckoff 101 with like Rainbow Theory, the long, the five, 10 second version of the, of the stream is prices go up, prices go down, and then they chill flat. And then they bounce through there. And they chew people up, whales build positions, and then they either break up or they break down. It's it's not rocket science. People try to make this like crazy rocket science. The price only goes to the right, and it can only go up to the right and down to the right. Those are the three options, sideways, up, or down. And right now, we are here. Now, I've got both scenarios drawn out here. So people are arguing, trying to draw teams it's we're all on the same team we're pro bitcoin everyone needs to chill out but we've got either it's reaccumulation that goes up or this is actually distribution that goes down regardless we're not really going to bet on which side it is we're going to try to protect ourselves to move forward and figure out how do we play this because it's one of the three things right it's going to go to the right it's going to go up or it's going to go kind of down. And right now we're already, we're going to the right and we're going through the chop. Now the schematics are all over the place. People pick and choose. And I even saw someone post a, a Wyckoff schematic today or yesterday that had a plus 70% uh, deviation in it. So that was new. Um, I think if you're saying the top is in at 30 and, and count the move to 74 as a UTAD, I think that's kind of, it's kind of a mental issue, <laughs> insanity, but I digress. We're starting to see the front end the, somewhere in here. We're kind of in the middle, like five and seven and the kind of the end of phase B of this schematic here. And there's really not too many options. Like I said, it's, it's maybe we go into the happening and it black swans like we saw on what two happenings ago. And that's what this black swan is here. Oh no. Or we're going to tag the support and we're going to come back up and do this UTAD test, right? or would be on the reaccumulation would be the uh, SOS, LPS, whatever you want to call it up here, tag the resistance. And then we either break out or we come back down and blow out. And then we get like black Swan 2.0, whatever. I'll be at, this will probably be like a, a bear market thing that'll just blow out for a while and then curve up. Or we talk about we're in the never been done before territories and we're just going to go back to 20 K again. I really don't think that's the case. Um, but that's, the argument and it's not even an argument this is this is really the i mean maybe it does something different in between here but it's still going to either go down through this support or it's going to go up through this resistance the key to both of these is there's a support or i'm sorry there's a support order block resistance order block resistance order block or i guess yeah resistance order block and support it just depends which one falls right now we've tested the support order block quite a few times and you even saw like don alt talking about that it's not a really terribly good look um, but if this is a Creek, if, 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 and I'm starting like, this is why I was posting it on Twitter. I was like, I think this is starting to kind of look like a, a Creek. Normally I want to see this point a little higher and then do a Creek, but it's dragging enough to where I'm thinking this could be a Creek where we get support. We bump out. If we don't bump out and we lose this support order block. It's bad times. Oh no. And it's not that I want that to happen. That's just like you, we need to be prepared for this. Cause this is going to, if you thought alts looked bad, like a week ago, this is going to look like way worse. Um, and there's just no, there's just no way around it. If, if crypto goes down and, or if Bitcoin goes down, the others are going to kind of bow to that one. And it's, it's not going to be pretty. And it's just, that's how markets are. Especially if the S&P just keeps nuking and it doesn't hold it like 48, this is going to struggle. But to be honest with you guys, my, my biggest thing, we had the whole Middle East conflict really and people were screaming like World War III and bears hit 62, $60,000, like that's it. 
that really, I think, was like bombs getting dropped, drones in the air, all that stuff. That was really, in my opinion, the time to break down, and they didn't. Even if it wasn't going to be like an act of like World War III, et cetera, like we know that's not like very likely at all. Um, it doesn't matter with the whales. They'll just use the, the opportunity to use that moment um, and use it to make the chart look awful and scare people because you can get panic in the in the you can get the panic in the charts and it is what it is um you can force it, it it's you you can turn nothing burgers into a chart move they will do it like there are algorithms from these whales that manipulate twitter manipulate news they drop articles they do all this crazy stuff and they profit from it while you struggle um it's just it's just the way it goes so anywho that's my initial rant going into this. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Let me check a few things. I want to make sure the back end and all that's working. So it looks like we're good. Cool. If you guys have any questions on that, please let me know in the chat. Um, I'm going to sweep this out real quick. A few issues. So, Black Swan, maybe doubtful. I'm. I mean, end of the day, if you hurt me, I'm real bullish on Bitcoin halvings. I still think the number goes up at the end of the day. I don't think it's over. Now, 